Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the AEK versus the FAMAS. This was a highly requested comparison. A lot of you out there were curious to know which of these is the best close encounter, high rate of fire assault rifle in the game, and I was happy to oblige. I, I love both of these weapons, they're phenomenal, and while at the end I would say one kind of ekes out and is a little better than the other, they are, they are both phenomenal weapons. And so to start things off, both of them have the standard damage model. They're both going to do 25 damage up close, that is their max, and then it's going to drop off to 18 damage at long range. But where we start to see some deviation is when we look at their rounds per minute. The AK has a blazing fast RPM of 900, while the FAMAS has just an incredible 1,000 rounds per minute. And so at least in the RPM department, the FAMAS is going to be the clear winner here. Uh, as for the recoil numbers though, the AK is surprisingly managed. It's got a vertical of 0.38, which is a little high, I'll give it that, but then its left kick is only 0.15, which is almost non-existent, like that's as good as the AK-12, which is a long-range weapon, but its right kick is 0.4, and so while that right kick is quite large and you're going to have to compensate for it, it makes it very easy for you to predict where this thing is going to be bouncing. Pretty much it's going to go up and then to the right, almost guaranteed all the time, and so as long as you're able to kind of pull your triggers or your mouse down and to the left, it's not too challenging to take people out at medium to long range. Uh, as for the FAMAS though, it's got a fair amount of recoil. It's got a vertical of 0.4 and then a horizontal or a left kick of 0.4 as well and then a right of 0.6. And so uh, this thing is going to be kicking like a mule. It goes all over the place. And so when you try to line up those targets at medium to long range, uh, at least in my experience and from the stats itself, it, it's clearly not as easy to take people out at those distances compared to the AEK. Uh, as for their reload times, the AEK is going to clock in at 2.3 seconds if you still have a bolt in the chamber, or that is its short reload time. Uh, but as for its long, it's going to take you a staggering 3.6 seconds. That is substantial. And so if you're using... Both of these weapons, it applies to both, uh, make sure you still have a bolt in the chamber because that extra second going from the short to the long uh, could mean the difference between life and death. Like there are a lot of scenarios where that extra second is going to get you killed. Uh, the FAMAS on the other hand is going to take you 2.8 seconds to go through the short and then 3.55 seconds to go through the long animation. So not as large of a difference there, but uh, if you're more consistent with the AEK and you can uh, keep a bolt in the mag before you are reloading, uh, you're going to have a better time with that gun. Uh, they also have a different magazine size. The FAMAS has the unique 26 rounds in its mag, while the AEK has the solid standard 31. Uh, so now that we kind of have a basic understanding of these weapon stats, hopefully it is very apparent that these are close encounter guns. You're going to want to get up close and personal, you're going to want to use the train to your advantage to close the gap and get right up to your enemy. But which one is the clear winner? Which one is going to eke out in the end? Why would you want to use one over the other? Well, in my opinion, the AEK is an overall just a more consistent gun. Its recoil pattern is very predictable. You know it's always going to go up and to the right, and so that's very easy for you to manage. And it also has five extra bolts in its magazine. And while five extra rounds doesn't sound like a lot, uh, when you have 900 RPM, uh, you go through that very, very quickly. And so making sure that you still have an extra round in your magazine when you go through that short reload time, or if you just have multiple targets to kind of go through, it just gives you a little extra breathing room and a couple extra bullets to take them out. Uh, it also only has 100 or less rounds per minute compared to the FAMAS. And while that may seem like a significant amount, the only real disadvantage you're ever going to be in when you're using the AEK, at least when you're up close and personal, is when you're going against someone who is using the FAMAS or maybe someone who is using the CZ-3A1 for the engineer class. If they're using any other weapon, you probably have an advantage. Like 900 RPM is incredible. And so I don't honestly think that's that's much of a disadvantage. I mean, not a lot of people run around with the FAMAS. It's not a very popular weapon, even though it's one of my favorite weapons in the game. You don't see it very often. And so when you are using the AEK, even though it does have slightly less rounds per minute, it's not putting you at much of a disadvantage because you're not coming across many people that have a thousand rounds per minute so uh, when you get into those engagements you probably have the higher RPM or at least comparable to it and so then it comes just down to personal skill did you fire at the same time are you better with the recoil management and if you are you are going to win that firefight uh, that being said though if you are looking for a challenge or you just want a gun that will completely dominate everyone up close then the FAMAS may be up your alley 
I adore this weapon. I have like 600 kills with it so far. I think followed by the PKP. It's, it's my highest killed weapon in the game. Like I think it is phenomenal. And while it does take a little bit more on the part of the player to kind of work around its pitfalls, if you're able to do so, if you're able to work around its, uh, its high RPM, which can be a little challenging, the fact that it has only 25 rounds in its magazine, and the fact that it has a ridiculous amount of recoil, if you can work around all of those disadvantages, you are going to just rip through the enemy team. Uh, there are a lot of moments when an enemy will round the corner, I'll have my crosshairs up, I will see in the glint of their eye that they know I'm there, they'll start to lift up their weapon, but before they can even fire off one single bullet, I've held down the trigger for half a second, they're dead on the ground eating a dirt nap. Like, you kill people unbelievably quickly with the FAMAS, and just that satisfaction of dropping people almost instantaneously is probably why I love this weapon so much. And so overall, if you're looking for a more consistent close encounter gun, then stick with the AEK. Overall, it's much more manageable, it's more forgiving, and it's probably one of the best close encounter guns in the game right now. But if you're looking for a challenge, and you don't mind putting some time and in some investment in trying to learn and master a gun, then I highly recommend giving the Famasa go. It will take some time to get used to it. Learning and trying to work around its pitfalls will take some getting used to, but if you can master it, I can guarantee you're going to have a blast and it might just become one of your favorite weapons just like it is mine. Uh, so if this is all sounding very appealing to you and you would like to try out both of these weapons for yourself, I do have some customization recommendations that will improve both of these weapons. Uh, and so first off, I mainly just stick with the red dot sight and hopefully if I have it unlocked, I'll use the coyote because it gives me that nice field of view. And then as for the accessory, I'm always just going to slap on uh, the laser sight. It reduces my cone of fire, and because I'm going to be using these up close, it's a perfect attachment for that slot. Uh, as for the barrel attachments, I would say that the compensator is pretty much a must, especially if you're using the FAMAS just to reduce that horizontal recoil a little bit. Uh, but you can also try out the suppressor. Uh, that's mainly just personal preference. I love playing that silent assassin role. I like getting up close and personal and staying off the minimap. But if that doesn't tickle your fancy, then the compensator is always going to be a good bet here. Uh, the underbarrel also gives you a couple of options. You can try out the angle grip, which is going to reduce your first shot recoil, which is solid because the first shot recoil on these guns is quite high. Uh, but if you plan on running and gunning a lot, then I would try out the ergo grip, which will reduce your cone of fire and make it that much easier for you to just spray everyone down in front of you. Uh, but that is about it for my comparison between the FAMAS and the AEK. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a couple of weapons that you would like me to try out next, let me know down below in the comments section. Uh, but until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.